Here, in a tranquil and secluded rural setting, Benjamin Harnwell's mission is to establish a training center in a former monastery here in Trisulti, an academy with extremely conservative outlooks. With his so-called Institute for Human Dignity, Harnwell has set himself an ambitious goal to save Western civilization, mobilizing Christians and Jews in the fight against Islam. He refers to religious role models for his mission. This depiction here behind me is, is his martyrdom. St. Bartholomew was skinned alive for his faith in Jesus Christ. Um, and we've got to remember that today in the world, Christianity is the world's most persecuted religion. Uh, we often forget that in the West. The Academy aims to train budding young politicians to become staunch Catholics and right-wing populists. Trisulti in the next generation is going to become the global headquarters of the fight to defend the Judeo-Christian basis of Western civilization. So that's just not just here in Europe, but right across the world. He said there's 20 outside. There are, the Catholics seem to look on Steve Bannon as the ideal partner for the project. Donald Trump's former chief strategist regularly meets with Hartwell in Rome. They first met when Bannon ran the ultra-conservative Breitbart News website. Bannon is enthusiastic about Harnwell's project. I'm just honored he's asked me to, to, to help out. Uh, and, uh, you know, what I'm trying to do is add maybe a little organizational ability and, 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 and bring in donors, faculty, people I would know throughout the world that can teach. Bannon wants to bring together populist and identitarian forces in Italy and other European countries. A patronage by conservative Catholics suits his cause very well. He also has his eye on next month's European Parliament elections. Who's going to be prime? That's what their fear is, because the populist nationalist sovereignty movement has great politicians, a great message, and now it has traction. And that's why it's on the cusp, maybe, if the momentum keeps, through Spain and other nations, a stunning victory in May. For Bannon, the Academy should become an ideal breeding ground for his crusaders. Among its backers are ultra-conservative circles within the Vatican, who reject Pope Francis's liberal calls for inclusion and support of immigrants. The American Cardinal Raymond Leo Burke is head of the Board of Advisors of the Institute in Trisulti. He has openly endorsed Donald Trump's conservative agenda in the United States. Critics see the emergence as an unholy alliance that will seek to use Trisulti to undermine democratic societies, led by arch-conservative Catholics who rely on the help of political agitators like Steve Bannon. What they have in common is this obsessive cult of identity. They say, we represent Christendom, Western civilization, Europe founded on Judeo-Christian values, and we are being invaded, so we must defend ourselves. Many local residents in Trisulti have launched protests. They don't want Steve Bannon and far-right populists here. The monastery is a religious site, both a place of pilgrimage and a tourist attraction. They want the government to rescind the lease on the property. Why is a local monastery being used for an ideological project? Trisulti will become the launch pad for a movement. Just look at its ideas, its sources of finance, and its goals. Benjamin Harnwell remains confident. The lease is valid, he says. The plans to start operations are in place. So what can stop him and Bannon now? Culture is upstream of politics. And that's where we're working at. So I think anything that we're going to do will help Matteo Salvini and any of the, the populist, nationalist, uh, populist nationalist movements in, in, in Europe or around the world. Harnwell's plans seem clear. Trisulti should become a launching pad for far-right populists to take over Europe. 
one that can count on the blessing of arch-conservative Catholic clerics in high places. The Academy aims to start its first courses this summer. But before that, it remains to be seen how well the nationalists and populists perform in the European elections in May.